Oh, right. Just one other thing to mention. This is the relay. Okay. Now, a relay is kind of like a, a switch that, that stops. Um, it's a, a powerful switch. So, it, so you put one in or you don't want all the current to go through something. So in this case, we don't want all the current to go through the starter button. Okay. But you might think, well, hang on, we've got a solenoid. And that's what that does. But apparently the solenoid itself takes a lot of current. This is what I understand. So we've got the button, which just takes a very low voltage, which then goes to the relay, which then ups the voltage a bit and goes to the solenoid. The solenoid then engages and then engages the starter motor. So what it is, because the solenoid takes a lot of power, rather than go from the switch straight to the solenoid, it goes switch to relay, like ups the power a bit. Then it goes to the solenoid. And when the solenoid engages, then the full power from the battery goes into the starter motor. Uh, a bit complicated, but uh, I think that's why there's a relay and a solenoid. They're both kind of uh, electromechanical switches, but that's why there's two, I think. And uh, there we go. Just finished, uh, fitted the... Um, Stainless steel cover plate. I think it's stainless steel anyway. Um, and so you can see it covers most of the motor. And so we're now ready to uh, fit the uh, the carbs on top. One thing worth noting on this one, I don't know if it's original or what, but this one has a groove cut in the bottom here. So that the wire from the alternator, you can sort of like fit afterwards. On my... On mine, I think I'll take you over and show it you. Just hang on a minute. Let's go around the garage. I don't know how well we'll be able to see this. But on mine, there's just a hole. There's no there's no groove at the bottom. So you have to like fit that wire through that plate at the same time, you know, as fitting it. You can't, like, like what we did, we fitted the... Um, we fitted all the cable and then put that cover on because there's that little slot that simply allows the cable, you know, the cable, you know, we can put the cover on after the cable's in place. No, also there's a little grommet on mine, uh, but because this has got a much thicker sheath on this um, cable, um, there's not room for a uh, grommet. And also this very thick, uh, casing, I think, uh, means we, we shouldn't need a grommet. Obviously, you don't want the uh, casing cutting into the wire, but I don't think that'll happen in our case. Right, time to fit the carbs. Oh, and last thing on the starter motor. Of course, now I've got the starter motor actually fitted and bolted in with that sleeve nut. I've been able to fit the cover on the breather housing. And so there we have uh, that side of the engine all done, all polished up, all looking nice. And, you know, it's really looking uh, looking great now. OK, so we've finally been able to put that cover on. I was just waiting for that to be able to do that nut up with a starter motor. Then we put that cover on. So all done.